Hi everybody, if you get a chance, just pop by our website, vpnforcody.com. We've got everything for your VPNs for whatever country you're in, and also all the best VPNs that are available. We've also got your install guides for your APKs, your builds, your best Android boxes, and everything you'd want to know about Kodi. How to unlock your Netflix outside the USA, and also how to watch BBC iPlayer outside the UK. Okay. Now, if you're looking at wanting to watch Chinese films and programs outside of China, this is the place to go. It unlocks everything. And if you also want to unlock your Hulu, this is the place where we can show you how to get it with the best VPN for it. Okay. So there you go, guys. Everything across the top of here, all your how-to guides, all your installs, everything that you'd want to know is all in there. Don't forget, it's vpnforcody.com. Thanks very much for watching. Hi everybody and welcome to Cody Solutions. Well, I'd like to bring you a great build for your Cody this weekend. And this one is called the Duff Build. Now it's around about 190 to 250 megabytes when it's fully extracted. So it should be no problem whatsoever for your, any of your devices. So you like your Android box, your Fire Stick, your Nvidia Shield, walk in the park whatsoever. Now it's not gonna be the biggest to build as I said. So it's not gonna have the massive amount of, let's say, categories as we normally see. So it's gonna have the basics of movies tv shows music and a bit of sport in there as well now one thing that i do like about it it does have a favorite section it does have a search option and it also has power shutdown as well it also has widgets on there and it also has subcategories as well for your add-ons so you can actually see which add-ons you've got for you now it does basically work on the likes of covenant elysium all those good ones like that and your pyramid so let's have a little look at it as you can see let's go straight in so First thing in movies, when you go to the very top, you can have your little widgets with particular movies that you might be looking for. So Logan, all those sort of ones in there, just in case of clicking on them and working your way along. Now, don't worry if there's no picture in there, because as long as you work your way along it, it will populate with more eventually. As you can see there, it's just suddenly jumping up and catching up with it. So Requiem and all them sort of ones there. So a particular film that you want, in case you just go into it, highlight it, and just click on it. Now just give it a second or two, this covenant just goes through the providers, as you can see it's got what, A31, now it's down to 10, 7, 5, whatever it is, and it just works through and it gives you a little progress report as you go along, so it's what, 95% complete, so we should have a list after here of basically the providers for it, and also the quality of the films, so let's just give it a second or two, and we should have a list any second now. Now you can click on cancel and it'll probably stop it halfway through its search. Now you can see here we can get it in 720, we can also get it in open load. Now what I'll do is I'll click on put locker, I find that fairly good, and that should start the movie for it. So I'll just give that a second or two and let it just wait and see. And as you can see, started the movie just nicely. 720p, stereo sound. Now what we'll do is we'll cut that out just so we don't have any issues with any copyright. Next section we have here is TV shows. Now that's going to be exactly the same as the movies. You'll have your subcategory here with your, uh, your add-ons, Covenant, Elysium, Maverick, The Pyramid, 123 Movies and Bennu. Okay, so you can actually go through those on your own. Then go at the very top, you've got your shortcuts for your particular TV shows that you might be looking for. So if you like the likes of Star Wars, Game of Thrones, Big Mouth, Gifted, all there for you. Just go through the shortcuts and work your way along. Sports, now in here, not gonna be the biggest collection of sports add-ons that you'll ever see, but you can always add extra if you want to. In your subcategory, you're gonna have the likes of Sports Devil, Maverick Sports, Maverick Sports Live, you're also going to have Pyramid Sports Zone. You'll have Planet MMA, and you'll also have motor replays as well. Now, maybe that might be a bit restrictive for some people, but some people might want a lot more. Now, this is where the beauty is, where you can add a few extras that you want. It all depends on you, what you want to put on there. Sometimes it can be a case of being cluttered with stuff that you don't need. You can choose the ones that you want in there. You'll have your kids section on here. As you can see here, Bobby's Kids, Bobby's Cartoons, Pyramid's Kids, cartoons as well there as well now on your add-ons you can go to program add-ons you can go to my add-ons and you can install any extra ones that you might want to go in there 
so you can pick and choose a few extra ones that you might want that might work better for yourself okay you've got your settings here your players your skin settings your media your live TV add-ons services system you name it it's all there now by going in fire manager you can always just go in there and you can add any extra add-ons or maybe enable some more that you might want we've got the likes of mucky ducks in there noobs and nerds all those great repos in there they can add extra ones straight there for you you've got music on here as well as you can see all the now music albums at the very top and at the very bob bottom sorry the very best in music add-ons there as well vivo the jukebox the music source and of course now music as well one thing i did forget to mention also on this one is the add-ons that are there for your movies covenant elysium maverick movies pyramid movies and also one two three you've also got benu in there as well so it's pretty much a replica of what's in your tv shows now as i said earlier it's not the biggest of builds but basically it has what it got to maybe just get you by maybe that's just all you need it's got all the best ones that's in there it's not cluttered up with too much hassle it's pretty much straight what you want so if you like this build guys maybe this is one that for you okay it's only about 190 maybe 220 in megabytes in size so if you've got a small device maybe this is a build that you might want it's very fast works nice go straight to the point thank you very much for watching take care i'll show you now how to install it okay then guys i'm going to show you now how we actually install this duff build on there now as i say it's not a big build it doesn't have the massive amount of add-ons but maybe that's just all you need is a few select ones that work great for you so first things first is let's get straight over to this settings button here okay so let's just give that a click and let's get straight over to file manager in the bottom right hand corner so let's just give that a click now go to the left hand side and double click on add source and then just click on this one here none now this screen will pop up here so what you want to do is just type in this URL exactly as you see it. And this is going to take you to Ares Wizard. So it's going to be HTTP colon double forward slash Ares dash repo full stop EU. Just copy that exactly as you see it. Okay. And you should have no problems whatsoever. So I'm just going to go over it one more time for you. And that's going to be HTTP colon double forward slash Ares dash repo full stop eu now when you've got all that down just come over and click on ok and then what we do is just give it a name so we'll call it Ares just like that come down at the bottom and just click on ok now as you can see Ares has gone over the left hand side so that's great so far so good go all the way back escape or back button or press your home button Go all the way back to your home button on your code on your Cody page, okay? So you're now back to square one. Come all the way down to add-ons and just click on it. Then just go to the top where you'll see the open box. You can see there, and just highlight it and click on it. Go to install from a zip file. As you can see, setting from the bottom, highlight this and just click on that now. And then as you can see, arrows. I've already got it highlighted, so you just want to highlight that and just click on it now. Go to Repository Arrays Project, highlight that and just click on it now. Now just wait, you'll get your little pop-up as you can see now. It says updated, yours will say installed. Then what you want to do is just go to install from a repository and just go to Arrays Project. Highlight that and just click on it now. Go to program add-ons, highlight that, click on it now. As you can see, mine's already ticked as Harry's Wizard. You just want to click on that and where you'll see uninstalled in the bottom right hand corner, you just want to click on install. So just give that a click now and that'll install it. Okay, now let it do its thing. And when that's installed, just go all the way back, all the way back to your homepage. And it'll look like this come across and down and highlight Ares Wizard. Give that a click and just wait. Now it's just gonna install, so it only takes us what, 30 seconds and you'll get your little screen pop up here. 
Now, great was it this. If there's a build that you don't like on this one, as I say, Duff, there's 300 and something builds on here, so there should be no problem for you, okay? Now, this is the screen we're going to get. We're going to have browse builds, browse add-ons, maintenance, and all that lovely stuff there. Click on browse builds, and work your way all the way down. Keep on going. We've got a bit to go yet, so keep on going. So it's probably about 40 builds in, isn't it? No, it's a lot more than that. Quite a bit, so you'll see one, it'll be something like Duffy's. Let's just keep on going. There you go, Duffman build. Okay, 132 in. Highlight that and click on it. Now, there's only one build in there, so just come down now, highlight it, and click on it. Go over to install and click on install there. Click on proceed and that will start to download the build for you. As I say 165 but when it's extracted around about 220 230 megabytes. Now it takes about five minutes to download so just click on when it's all done yes sorry no no and then yes and then just restart your coding. Now always give a few minutes and let your add-ons install and let the build install onto your device okay so there should be no problems whatsoever. So don't forget guys, if you like the video and you like this build, please give a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Look out for the next build, probably tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Take care now.